Good morning, handy listeners, handy viewers, such as you are, and welcome to this, my new little mini series on the forthcoming cooks, Mastering Chefs. <laughs> you see what I did there? Good, isn't it? Um, flying solo for this one, leaving the little janky football boys alone. Again, they can carry on with their ball work. This one's all about the takeouts. Starting with the biggest fella, and I'm going to keep this reasonably quick as we've seen him for a little while. Roast is the butcher uh, play-up from the Cooks Guild. He is a fast when he wants to be 4-8, lovely tack 6. 3-6 kick, which is pretty good for butchers. A def 2-0, not the hardest fella to hit, but then again, he is quite a big old unit. 2-4 influence, fairly standard with a fairly chunky 18 boxes. Nice, easy to hit, easy to farm momentum off, maybe. Um, his playbook, he's got a momentous one-on-one, -on -one. lovely when you're surrounded by uh, the owner with Ox. A knockdown and a gill ball on two. A low access to knockdown, fairly nice for butchers. It's not something they revel in. Um, Truffles being the only model in guild with a momentous knockdown, and we see how frequently they're taken. And the gill ball symbol on two is the first access to their uh, character plays, which can also be purchased for one influence to turn up the heat. Three inch pulse, enemy models within the pulse suffer the burning conditions. Do love me a pulse, no need to roll. Um, third column, double push, nice for counters, I guess. If you're hitting that high, maybe, maybe they will. There's a thing that might help with that later. Momentous two damage push, momentous three damage push, a tackle on five, that's bound to do work. <laughs> and four damage, momentous four damage push on six. Very, very nice. Other character play is probably the most important thing on the card, I think, from an offensive standpoint, certainly where Fillet is concerned, is the Get It While It's Hot aura, which is a one-cost, four-inch range, once per turn, thankfully, while within two inches of target, friendly model, friendly model spend one less influence to charge. Now, I do like this as a target for Roast himself, uh, as being a 40 millimeter model, that uh, two inch aura is going to go further, only a little bit, but it all matters, um, than just putting it on a 30 mil model. Now, why I say I really like this with Fillet, and I'm sure you've all come to the same conclusion yourself, is Fillet likes to charge, and if she can charge for cheaper so that she's spending that influence elsewhere, all the better. Um, so whether he's snapping that on himself or just putting on Fillet herself so that she can carry that aura with her, uh, I leave entirely to you and to board state, but very, very nice that is. Over on the back of his card, uh, with two rules which really, really stand out. One, the guild rule of intimidation. So the entirety of the Cook's Guild treat you have, treats you as having one less defense the entire time. That's massive and is going to hugely change dice maths. And the other one being Big Belly, so that when an enemy model damages this model with one or more playbook damage results, after the attack is resolved, the enemy suffers a 1-inch push directly away from this model. This is very, very nice, um, as it gives, particularly if he's then countering um, and using that momentous, well, non-momentous, it'd be a counter push on 1 to push people further away. You're going to have to be careful how... You get in and around roast because either you, if you're going in with a one-inch melee, if you're going in base to base and he gets that counter, if you're not knocking him down, then you're going to be pushed away. Equally, if you don't have dodges on your damage playbook results to be allow you to dodge back in towards him after the second one, um, you will be pushed out of uh, melee range quite quickly. And But what I have seen people doing locally, as we've had him for a little while, is that people will position a model as a backstop, usually granite for, for hammer, uh, hammer going into the lad um, sideways, and then every time he gets pushed directly away from roast, being pushed into the nice 40mm base model of granite or wrecker or something along those lines. So there are ways around it, it's just going to eat your activations a little bit and just require a little bit of setup. But it can be gotten around. Um, worth pointing out the changing of the wording on resilience. Uh, different to how we've got it on a number of other cards. Equally the 4.1 edition in the bottom right hand corner of the card. Um, this is interesting. I imagine there will be further announcements around this in the errata that we know is coming. But this is an interesting change as it essentially states that it stops everything dead. Um, 
But more on that later perhaps. I will leave it there for now. Like I said, a quick little look at Roast as we'd already seen him before. He's a big old boy and he's going to bring a lot of influence efficiency to, to a fillet team. And God knows that's terrifying. Cheers, folks.